This is Lee from Crash Test Hobby showing you how to laminate on my one day plane. I'm using a full size iron set at 218 degrees and I start by laying the laminate on the wing and taking a stripe down the middle of the wing and then working the laminate to the edge so that I don't get wrinkles. Making that one pass down the middle uh, helps you from building up wrinkles as you go down the wing. After you've got the piece of laminate secured in, trim the laminate so there's enough excess that as it wraps around the leading edge of the wing, it will reach the spar on the opposite side. This way you get two layers of laminate on the leading edge where the strength is most important. Your measurement doesn't have to be exact. The clear laminate won't show the overlap. I'm using just a regular size household iron and it maintains its temperature much better than my hobby iron does and lately I've been using it more than my hobby irons. Trim as you need to so that you can laminate the edges and corners and then we'll do the next piece of laminate. We take a stripe down the middle and then work the laminate to the corners. Now on this particular plane I'm using some scraps of laminate so down on that far end I need to put this small piece which won't show when the plane is finished and I just treat it as though it were a part of the original laminate. The only place where it is critical that you have enough laminate for length is when you do your elevons. So cut the laminate for them first and I'll show you that in just a minute. Now the Formica plates actually have a gap at the back so I punch a hole with the soldering iron and fill that gap with hot glue so that it's rigid. I'm using a 3530 1700 kV motor on the stock stainless steel motor mount and as you mark your holes make sure you don't drill through your spars. I've done this before. You can then use a size 6 or a size 8 screw to secure the motor mount. And if you want, since there's top and bottom plates, you can put a bolt clear through to the Formica plate on the other side and put a bolt in, which is even more secure. We're going to cut the elevons to length, give yourself a half inch of clearance on the prop, and make sure that you cut both a right and a left elevon. It's easy to cut two lefts or two rights. The way to prevent this from happening is put top against top on the elevon material. So as you trim, the corners are together and then you'll end up with a right and a left. The, I trim the tip of the corner off so it won't bend, but also just for looks. Clean up the elevons. Just rub them with a piece of foam or, or clean off any dust or fibers. And then I cut a piece of laminate on this particular elevon, 30 inches, and I set my iron to 185 degrees. This first stroke is the most important part of the whole elevon right there. The elevon needs to be straight at this point and once it's straight you can just roll the elevon up so you have three layers of laminate over the elevon. If your iron is too hot it will melt the elevon because it's so thin and it also tends to wrinkle the laminate. So iron the top and the bottom before you do the edges and the corners. and then make sure that your elevon is straight. I trim with about a half inch excess of laminate there on the, on the tip. Then I use a new razor blade and just run it down to trim the extra length off. Okay. 
Elephants are easy to do once you get used to them, but uh, it's probably more people make mistake on the elephants than anything else. Now using a block of wood or the edge of the table, I go along the edge which has the angle on it that goes up against the wing. If there's any imperfections here, they'll be covered up by the hinge line. Now using a pair of scissors, I cut some relief cuts and then using the iron, I just iron the laminate down around the end of the elevon. And then repeat it on the other side. Once you've done this a few times, it's not difficult. Three layers of laminate makes a foam elevon almost as stiff as balsa and it is far more durable. Balsa will shatter and break and the foam elevons don't. So uh, I've already laminated the other elevon. I'm checking to make sure that they're square and straight and that they're stiff. Cut one inch wide strips of E-tape and you'll need enough to put top and bottom tape on both elevons. Since my glass isn't long enough, I do it in shorter pieces. It's easiest if you stick the tape to the glass and then use a new razor blade to cut the tape. You can also buy one inch tape if you want. So put a strip of tape along the sharp top angle of the elevon. It's the thick end with the sharp corner. And trim it to length. I have to use two pieces because of my short glass. And then a stick it down to the back of the wing with just some daylight showing through about the thickness of a coin. And that gives it room to go down when you get the tape underneath on the bottom edge of, of the hinge line. So folding the elevon up, I stick the tape on the bottom edge. and trim it to length. The elevon will be real stiff until you get it trimmed because it will try, be trying to bend the tape in two directions. Your elevon should go up and down freely. And then after you have uh, got the tape on, we're going to put some laminate over the top of the tape. The tape does not take UV light well and it will turn yellow and the adhesive will fail within a few months if you don't put laminate over the top. The laminate that is in the kit has a UV protection in it that protects your plane from sunlight. So you need to cut enough strips to do top and bottom on both wings. And what I do is uh, lay the two inch wide laminate over the one inch wide tape so there's a half inch overlap on each side. And then I just iron it into place. At this time I've turned the iron temperature back up to about 220 degrees. You just don't want to focus on your elevon enough that you warp it. And then you bend the elevon down and iron the hinge line and it will relax the line. We're now going to put the laminate on the bottom side of the hinge line, once again to protect the tape. And so seal it down the edge and then wrap around the edges. and then trim any excess on both ends. And 
once again just folding it down I then iron along that hinge line and it softens up the tape and the laminate and lets the elevon lay flat on the table. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your playing. You can watch video numbers three and four in order to see how to assemble your electronics and install them in your plane. This is Leigh from Crash Test Hobby.